Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor channel. Here we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks. Today we'll talk about Clovis Oncology, traded at Nasdaq, ticker name CLVS. Well, uh, CLVS is today uh, finished the day with a very nice white candle here, almost shadowless. And now the question is actually uh, what's next? Are we going to continue this upwards trend that is second day already, or is it? the end of it and to understand this uh, and also another possibilities to entry CLVS uh, let's do a quick analysis here so um, first of all uh, CLVS is in general downtrending uh, for several months already half a year stock and you can see several long downwards trends here so uh, so one is actually uh, like uh, really high level peaks uh, channel also confirmed these uh, two months with moving average 200 and following it actually one to one let's call it r1 line and by the way here we have three moving averages depicted it's moving average 200 50 and uh, 20 being red blue and green lines correspondingly so coming back to the analysis here we can see that this is one trend another one we see like a bottom formation uh, at the moment that is there two times worked as a bottom actually and was reconfirmed three days ago uh, this is uh, another uh, from the bottom another trend R2 and it worked indeed uh, as a return point here uh, also we can clearly see that uh, there are slighter downwards trends let's quickly draw them it's a longer one that was pierced many times uh, but still continues and uh, this is a trend Let's call it R3, and R3 trend was broken uh, actually somewhere from 10 of August, but then it was returned and uh, it was pierced upwards and again downwards. It might be fake reconfirmation today, but anyway, this is the trend we also need to keep in mind. Although older one, it still seems like have like uh, before August it was real a support line, and now it works more like a volatility point since the August. Still need to be uh, taken into account. And then another one we can see here also weak trend but still might be forming it's a um, it's a downwards we will see tomorrow if it's confirmed or not if it is if it is confirmed then it will be a strong one it's a our free trend line which was seemingly confirmed at about 12 of october also about uh yeah 15 of october what does resist here but now the question is it today's line really stopped as a resist on this level or not if you look after hours action it's negative already minus one percent so it might be that indeed this will work as a new um a new channel if not we might still have a piercing upwards and then we might go to, to the level of the next uh, resist line here which will be uh, this one so now having said this uh what is actually um yeah the reality for CLVS. If R4 line tomorrow is confirmed, then we will have another downwards movement and uh, probably we will pierce R2 uh, and then uh, we will seek for another reconfirmation there. If we will go upwards, then most probably we will uh, stop at, uh, let's call this line R5, the red one. We will stop at R5 line. Uh, it will work as a strong resist here and then we will go all the way down um, actually following R4 and then R4 will work on this part of the trend as a, as a support line so if this confirms here it will be then green color support line so two scenarios here again uh, first scenario it's uh, if we pierce uh, immediately so if we if we confirm R4 so if R4 is confirmed uh, as uh, resist this is one scenario and then uh, actually uh, we need to wait until we reach R2 level and anything below R2 let's throw it in green uh, would be actually the buy for the for the first scenario point and the second scenario if we pierce upwards so we actually uh, go to towards R5 and R5 will be working as a resist line reconfirmation then R4 will become a support line and then anything uh, to the, the first buy will be so this is the second uh, strategy here so if uh, actually R5 is confirmed and then R4 is our support line then uh, so if this action takes place and then further like that then the entry is expected here let's draw this time in dark actually anything at R4 line so these two trends we need to keep so tomorrow uh, to keep in mind tomorrow it will be confirmation of one or another 
and then we will know how to play here. So in both cases, you know where to enter. It's the first case. If R4 works as resist tomorrow and we go all the way down till R2, then the, the green circle is first entry point. If um, we pierce upwards R4 and R5 works as resist line and then we have decline, then actually in the vicinity of R4 would be the entry point here. And then uh, we will see how it goes further. Uh, for this stock. Anyway, it's now going to very vol volatile zone because uh, the channel R1, R3 um, can be either uh, bending upward, so we can go towards channel R5, R2 formation, which would mean that price will be volatile at least within the flagging of R5, R4. So all, all the way here, it should be uh, volatile. And this might open for us very interesting buy opportunities. Just need to wait for confirmation of to this uh, of one of two, um, yeah, possibilities for tomorrow. And with this, then you know what to do with uh, CLVS. Just wait, watch, and decide. And overall, very nice stock, giving very good volatility here. So uh, it might go up parts up up to 10, 15 percent and might give some nice uh, profits. But of course, be careful. Don't buy too early. Wait for confirmation either of first or second scenario. With this, uh, thank you for watching CLVS and this episode is over. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This way you will not, new, you will not miss new videos and new interesting discussions for US-based stocks.